We begin here at noon with a Boston teenager killed while riding his bike. Now one person is under arrest. Good afternoon. Thanks for being with us. I'm Chris McKinnon. And I'm Katherine Hauser. The driver was arrested for taking off after that crash. Two cars collided last night in Dorchester, hitting the young boy. Our Susie Steinle is live with the very latest. Good afternoon, Susie. Good afternoon, Catherine and Chris. I can confirm for you that it is 27-year-old Gregory McCoy who were waiting for his arraignment. He's the man accused of hitting that teenage boy and then fleeing the scene. We looked into his history. He's currently listed as homeless and has a lengthy criminal record, four pages long. And I bent the corner, and as soon as I bent the corner, all I heard was, skirt, boom. A two-car collision brought Dorchester neighbors to their doorsteps to find a chaotic scene and a teenage boy within inches of his life. He was riding his bicycle when a car struck and killed him around 10 o'clock Tuesday night. Two people were hospitalized. Both are expected to fully recover, but it's 27-year-old Gregory McCoy facing homicide charges. He fled the scene. I saw a whole lot of blood on the left side of his arm, and then his friends came around like, yo, bro, yo, bro, let's go, let's go. What did you do? What did you do? In the daylight, two women tearfully tied flowers to a pole at that intersection, New England and Talbot Avenues. They were part of a group who attempted to save the boy with CPR. He was so young. My first instinct was to just go and help. I kept going and going and going and going and going. He came back just for a little bit, and then he just died, and then that was it. Shailene Garcia and Ramona Killings were just two of the many medical professionals living on this street. After spending hours trying to help, they were devastated to hear the driver left this boy to die. That's unbelievable. That's unacceptable. You just took a life that can't nobody get back ever again. That child is gone. And police have yet to release the name of the victim in this case. As always, they are waiting to notify family first. Live in Dorchester, Susie Steimel, WBZ News. Chris and Catherine, back to you.